Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Nisha. It has been quite a while since we started filming some new content. I'm super excited. I'm back home as you guys can see. And as you guys can see from my last vlog, I definitely changed up my hair a bit. I thought I can use like a little bit of change. The color did tone down a little bit so I do have to get it toned when I go to my next salon appointment. We are back filming some new videos for you guys. So for today's video, I'm really excited because it is going to be a makeup collection review and tutorial. So as you guys can see, I do have my base on already on my foundation and everything. So for today's video, we will be doing a review and tutorial on the ColourPop Harry Potter collection. Ah, I'm so excited. If you guys didn't know this about me, I absolutely love Harry Potter. I watched all the movies. You guys are gonna come at me for this, but I didn't read all the books. I never had time to with school and everything, and those books were really pretty thick. So I just watched the movies, but I am a true diehard fan. I am definitely a Gryffindor, if I do say so myself. I took the quiz and everything, so I'm definitely a Gryffindor, but I am super excited to unbox this for you guys. I did get the PR collection and I'm super excited. I haven't unboxed anything just yet, so we're gonna unbox it all together and we're gonna do a nice look for you guys. But before we head on to the video, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on your post notifications, give this video a thumbs up, and let's get right on to the unboxing. So as you guys can see, this is what the box looks like. It is so cool and then when you open it up, so as you guys can see when you open it up, you have all of the houses from Harry Potter. You have Gryffindor, Slytherin, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff. Ah, this is so exciting. And then when you open it up, it comes like this. I'm super excited to unbox it for you guys. So the first things I see when you do open the box, this is the 4-3 lip balm. So these are four different colors of lip balms. They do apply on clear, which is what I'm assuming, but we're definitely gonna give it a try. And it basically comes in all four houses for Harry Potter. So let's go on and open up these boxes. Okay, so first off, the packaging of these are so cute. So they're called the 4-3 Lip Balm. And this one is in the shade Courage. So this is for the House Gryffindor. And when you open it up, it basically looks like a simple lip balm. I love how it has like a little slant to it as well. So it makes it so easy for application. But this one is in the shade Courage. And then when we swatch them, they basically go on clear, which is really nice. So basically all of them are clear, but they come in cool different colors in accordance to the houses. So I'm definitely going to give this a try. So I'm going to be applying courage onto my lips to see how the formula is. So they are really silky. It is a little bit tough to apply it onto your lips, but I feel like after the first initial application, it'll probably get a little bit softer. But so far, it's really nice and soothing, and it's very silky on the lips, and it's not thick or tacky or anything like that. So, so far, I approve the lip balms. These are really cool, and I love how they're in the Harry Potter houses. Like, how cool is that? They do kind of have like a weird taste though. Like, as I'm applying it to my lips, kind of has like a weird taste. And for smell, I can't quite put my finger on it, but it kind of has like a spicy smell. It's not cinnamon, but I feel like it kind of smells like nutmeg. I could be completely wrong, but there is some sort of like spicy smell to them. But it's not like as noticeable, like it's not very fragrant, but it is there onto the lip balms. And then these are what the other three do look like. So the yellow one is in the shade Patience. The blue one is in the shade Wit. And then the green one for Slytherin, that one's in the shade Pride. And all together, these look super cool. So the next items I see in this collection. These are the Graphics Ink Liner. And these are so cool because they come in their according colors to the houses. Okay, so first off, the packaging of these is super cute. It has the lightning bolt and stars around it. And then when you open them up, this is what they actually look like. So it's more of like a felt tip liner and they're all in the accordance of color. So there's one in blue, green, red, and yellow. So I'm definitely going to be swatching these for you guys so you guys can see what the color actually does look like. So these are what the shades do look like. So the blue one right over here, this is in the shade Diadem. The green one is in the shade Locket. The red one is in the shade Sword. And the yellow one is in the shade Cup. And what's cool about the yellow one is the yellow is kind of more like a gold shimmer, which is actually pretty nice. So I can use this to layer on top of majority of my eye looks. So I'm super excited to give these eyeliners a try. So the next items in this collection, these are the Luxe Lip Glosses. And how cool is this packaging? I literally cannot get over 
the packaging of these products. Like it literally has each of the characters from Harry Potter and they are so adorable. I'm super excited to give these a try. Like how adorable is the packaging? And these are what the shades do look like. Starting from the pink one here. The pink one is Granger. The red one here, this is Potter. The orange one is Weasley and the silver one is Lovegood. So I love how each of these glosses are named after each one of the characters. I think that is so amazing. And as always, the packaging just looks so nice. Like I absolutely love it. And there is kind of like more of like a fruity smell to them as well. It is very subtle with all of these products. It's nothing too overwhelming or overbearing. So the next items that we have in the collection, these are their Super Shock highlighters. I'm so excited to give these a try. And guys, as always, the packaging is so adorable. Like I absolutely love the packaging of this collection. Like I'm literally obsessed. So this one, this one is called Hedwig and it has a picture of the owl. The next one is Dobby. Oh my god, I feel like Dobby was one of my favorite characters in the movies. He was so adorable. And then the last one is Buckbeak. So this is what the highlighter does look like. This is in the shade Hedwig and I'm super excited to give this a swatch. So let's swatch them for you guys. Oh my god, they're super buttery. Like as soon as on the initial application, you can definitely see that they are super buttery. So I'm just gonna go ahead and swatch this one. <gasps> Oh my gosh, guys, look at that pigment. It is so pretty, that reflection. I'm so excited to put this on my face. Like, oh my gosh, this is actually a really nice formula for the highlights. So this one was in the shade Hedwig. So this shade right over here, this one is Buckbeak. Oh my god, these are so buttery. And I absolutely love the shade Buckbeak. I feel like it is more of like a kind of like a brownie champagne sort of highlight. And this one right over here, this one is in the shade Dobby. And I feel like this one is going to be a little bit more gold. And yes, this one is gold. I absolutely love the formula of these highlights. They were super buttery. They applied so well onto the skin. And they just looked so pretty. Oh my gosh, they look so holographic. I can't wait to apply these as my highlights and then it also comes with this little card that says calling all witches wizards and muggles and the card is actually super cute and it just tells you everything that does come in this collection and guys this is eyeshadow pout which is kind of like the main frame for this entire collection and i absolutely love the packaging like look at this palette it is so cute i absolutely love the packaging it literally looks like a tiny little book it just feels so velvety it's kind of like that velvety suede packaging and it just feels so nice and on the back it does have all the shades that are included in this palette so it's basically like a sleeve that you can just like take out like that and it kind of matches the box of the package it is so beautiful i absolutely love the packaging i feel like i said that 50 times on this video already and this is what the palette looks like this is just so beautiful guys it's like screams harry potter so it basically opens like a book so when you open it up this is what the colors look like like how beautiful is this palette i absolutely love all the colors i definitely I have to swatch some shades for you guys like this palette is absolutely gorgeous i'm so excited to give this a try i definitely want to swatch one of the mattes i feel like i might swatch whomping willow i'm gonna swatch this color over here and these shadows are really buttery they swatch really really well and it does have really good pigment to it so that shade was whomping willow then i'm gonna swatch one of the shimmers i feel like i'm gonna swatch butterbeer and i'm just going to swatch that right next to the brown i'm not sure if you guys can see that but it's right over here butterbeer and it's so pretty it's gonna look so beautiful on the eyes and i feel like i definitely need to swatch this blue color right over here like this blue color is literally calling to me and it's literally like a straight up glitter so this one is called forbidden forest so it, it is this shade right over here <gasps> oh my gosh that is going to be beautiful so this one is called forbidden forest oh my goodness i can feel like this color is gonna definitely be a favorite for me for the holidays and new year's i am super excited to do a look with this this looks so promising and this looks like the perfect palette that has kind of like a wide variety of colors that you can definitely use all year long now that we unboxed all of the products from this collection and we did some swatches and they look super super promising so now we're gonna go ahead with the tutorial and create a stunning look using all the products from this collection i'm super excited because right now it's fall and this entire collection is screaming like fall and winter so we're just gonna go about i'm not quite sure what kind of look we're gonna do but we're 
but we're just gonna go around play with some colors and see what we come up with okay so as you can see I already clipped my hair to get my hair out of my face so we can go ahead and do our makeup I already applied my foundation concealer I already applied my eyeshadow base so now we're gonna go ahead with some of the shadows okay so I just pulled you guys in a little bit closer so we can see what we're doing with our eyes so I'm gonna go into the Harry Potter palette that we just swatched and I feel like I'm just gonna start off with like a neutral base and see where we go so in the palette I'm gonna go ahead with Whomping Willow the shade right over here that we already swatched so I'm just gonna go ahead and just apply that all over my eyelids and so far I love how none of these colors have any fallout like the mattes I haven't noticed any fallouts from the mattes so I'm just applying this color right into my crease Okay, now's the hard part. I'm not sure where to take this look because this palette is literally split in half. So you basically have all the warm tones on this side of the palette. And then you have all the kind of like bluish green browns and blacks on this side of the palette. So I'm just kind of curious to see where I'm actually going to be taking this look. But since this is fall, I feel like we should do a little bit more fall colors and kind of experiment a little bit. So I'm going to go in with this green right down here. And this green is in the shade Slytherin. So I'm going to go in with this color right over here on my outer V and I feel like we might be doing more of like a halo look today so I'm gonna take this and apply this right onto my outer crease and my inner tear duct oh my gosh guys look at that pigment that pigment is amazing and I'm just packing this right onto the outer corner of my eye and then I'm taking this into the inner corner of my eye So far, I'm really loving how blendable these shades are. Like the shades, the pigments, they all are phenomenal. I am like really impressed by this collection. And ColourPop in general has really good shadows as well. So I shouldn't even be surprised by the quality. So I'm just going to take that brown shade that we had on the other brush. And I'm just going to use that just to blend out the green. Just going to take it on the other side now. This pigment looks unbelievable. Like, it just looks so nice. I absolutely love the depth and the greenery of this green. Like, it just looks so nice. I absolutely love it. Like, this is such a perfect green, especially for the fall. I'm absolutely in love. So I'm just going to take this flat shader brush, and I'm just going to use the same green. I'm just going to apply that to the bottom of my lash line. So I'm just taking a little bit more of that green. I'm just packing it a little bit more on the outer corners just to give it a little bit more depth. And that's how the color Slytherin looks like. It's absolutely gorgeous. I absolutely love how deep the color looks. It just looks phenomenal. So I'm super excited to put on a shimmer on top. Oh my god, this literally gives me chills. So for the green to apply right into the center of the eyelid, I'm gonna go in with this beautiful shade right over here. So this shade is called Hungarian Horntail. So I'm just gonna apply this color and I'm just going to place it right on the center of my eyelid. Ah! I don't think I've ever been this excited for an eyeshadow collection. Like, I just love the color selection of this palette. So I'm just gonna apply the green right onto the center of my eyelids oh my gosh guys do you see that pigment oh my goodness I am in love oh my gosh that is stunning I cannot get over these shades so I'm just gonna apply it to the other eye And now I'm just going to build up the color a little bit. I am so obsessed. I absolutely love how this look is turning out. It is literally screaming fall. So now I'm just going to go back with the Slytherin color and I'm just going to touch up the corners of my eyes. And that's what the eyeshadows look like. 
So now I'm just gonna go ahead and do the inner tear duct. So for this, I'm definitely gonna be taking this first shade right over here. This is in the shade Lumos. So I'm just gonna be taking that shade right over there. I'm just gonna be applying it to the inner corners of my eyes. Oh, that looks so pretty. It literally blends in super well with the eyeshadow. And this literally feels like you're applying butter onto your eyes. So I'm just taking this color and I'm just applying right onto the inner tear ducts of my eyes. And just blending it out. And that's basically what this eye look does look like. So I feel like we're pretty much done from here. The colors blended super, super well. And I am really happy with the pigmentation, the saturation, and the color variation of these eyeshadows. They are incredible. So I'm really happy with the way that this look turned out. So now we are going to go on to the eyeliner. So for the eyeliner, since we have on green eyeshadow, we might as well go with the green liner just to keep up with the look. So I'm going to go in with the shade Lock It, and I'm just going to be applying this right onto my eyelids. So I'm not sure if you can see the green, but I definitely do notice the green on the lash line right over there, and it has a really good pigment. It is not sheer. It does have really good saturation with the liner, and it blends so beautiful with the green eyeshadow that we did. So I'm just going to go ahead and apply it onto the other side. So I didn't do a wing, I just lined my lash line just because we did a halo and I like keeping with the kind of like round shape that we have going on with the eyes. Now that the eyes are done, I'm just going to go ahead and apply some mascara and lashes and I will be right back. So as you guys can see, we are officially done with the eyes. I did apply some mascara and lashes. Now we're going to go ahead and apply some of the highlights. So I feel like the highlight that really stood out to me that would tie this whole look together would be the one in the shade Dobby. So Dobby is this beautiful kind of like gold color. So I'm super excited to apply this right onto the highlights of my cheeks. So for this, I'm just going to take any one of my highlight brush. I'm going to use my Anastasia one. I'm just going to dip right into the highlight. And then I'm just gonna apply this right onto my cheekbones. This looks so stunning. Apply to the other side. I absolutely love the shade so much. It just looks incredible. I absolutely love it. I'm just gonna take one of the lip balms. I'm gonna go in with the shade Courage just to rehydrate my lips. Next, I'm just going to go in with my MAC Quirk Lip Pencil. I'm just going to outline my lips so that we were able to apply the lip gloss after. So I'm going to go in with the shade Age Granger. So I'm going to go in with Harmony. And I'm just going to fill this in in my lips. It still has that nice fruity smell. These actually feel more like liquid lipsticks. Hey guys, I had to put this clip back in here because I didn't show you guys swatches and I just realized that all of these aren't actually lip glosses. So it's only this color right over here. This color is Love Good. So this is the only color that's actually the lip gloss. And then these three right over here, these three are the Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. This one is actually the lip gloss and these are actually liquid lipsticks. I discovered this towards the end of the video when I finished everything and then I made that discovery. And then these are the swatches of the colors right over there from um, this corner over here, this shade is called H. Granger. This next shade over here, that shade is called R. Weasley. Then that red shade right over there, that shade is called H. Potter. And then the lip gloss right over here, which is a very nice iridescent color, that one is called L. Love Grove. So these three are the Luxe Velvet Liquid Lipsticks. And then this last one over here, this one is the lip gloss. It's funny from the discoveries that we can make after we finish filming, but yes, these are the liquid lipsticks and this is the lip gloss and then these are the swatches. Okay, so back to the rest of the video. But it applies really well.
and it's very lightweight. It literally doesn't feel like heavy or cakey on my lip and it blends really beautifully. And I think this color is perfect to tie in with the bright green eyes that we have going on. So that basically completes our entire look. Honestly, I am very impressed with this collection. I shouldn't be too surprised because ColourPop is an amazing company. They make amazing eyeshadows, amazing lip products. I personally haven't tried their complexion products just yet, but that is next on my list. But overall, I really love the way this look turned out. I love all the eyeshadows they were very buttery they didn't have any fallout whatsoever so i really appreciate that the pigment and the saturation of the shadows were impeccable and i absolutely loved how buttery the highlights were the lip gloss was phenomenal i absolutely loved how the lip gloss looked and the eyeliners amazing honestly i give this collection a 10 out of 10 because everything just performed so well and i'm very pleased with how the actual look did turn out i feel like this is perfect for the fall and the winter and again the palette of course packaging is 100 i absolutely love the packaging but I absolutely love how versatile this palette actually is it has like a lot of different colors and it's split into two so you have the warmer colors and the cool tone colors as well and you can create a vast variety of different looks using this palette so I really appreciate the color choices that you have from this because you can create so many different looks I feel like this is such a good color choice for this collection so I hope you guys did enjoy this ColourPop Harry Potter PR collection unboxing and makeup look tutorial I personally really love the entire collection as you guys can definitely see so i just want to thank you guys so much for watching if you guys love seeing these videos please don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below turn on your post notification give this video a thumbs up and i will see you guys in my next video bye guys